I uh, Lyndon here from Hosking Promotions and I'm here with uh, the main man uh, Ibrahim Bauer and uh, his head coach uh, Lim Jacker. Uh, now Ibrahim's going to be the main event uh, on the big battle on the golf fields 2 card Saturday June 11th and uh, Ibby joins us uh, here in Bendigo, we're at uh, Hosking's boxing gym at the moment and uh, doing some training in the sparring. So Ibby, first impressions of Bendigo mate? I like Bendigo, it's, uh, uh, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was but uh, it's a nice quiet place and yeah it's sort of what I expect of where I'd like to be in the future. And we uh, we checked out the Benigo Stadium today. What are the thoughts of uh, where the big fight's going to be? I love the stadium, uh, the Benigo Stadium. It's a not big atmosphere. It looks like it's going to be um, a big crowd. It should be an entertaining night. And Lim, uh, mate, we're what about sort of six weeks into the program now. Two weeks to go. Um, how's the, the camp been? Camp's been very good. You know? We've been putting in the time. Uh, putting in the plan, you know, implementing it, talking about it, you know, working it out, getting the training done, getting the sparring done, you know, working on little adjustments, you know, there's all fighters need during, during camp, you know, for every, every different opponent there's always a small adjustment you've got to make, yeah. and it's been going fairly well. So in this, uh, the uh, opponent, Neil John Tabernau from the Philippines, what do you, uh, what do you know about him? Well, there's, there's not much. There's not much that we know that much about him. I think we've watched a few few videos of him, but you know, as as any any coach or trainer knows that you know you can watch footage of these guys and there's not a lot around. You can't really pick up on too many things. The things that we see is that you know he's got he's quick. You know he's a little bit he's got a better jab than most Filipino fighters have. You know he's got some movements and you know he can box a little bit and he can set you up for good punches. Yeah. You know. And uh, Ibi, this is fight number 10? Fight number 10. Yeah, so this is obviously the biggest fight of your career so far? Definitely, yeah. Fight for the WBA, regional title. Yeah, biggest fight. And once we get past this one, what, what is the next step after the WBO title as far as ratings and all that? Stuff? Well, hopefully, once we win this title, we'll be ranked top 15 in the world and that, that will set, up us, set us up for bigger fights. So just keep knocking them off yeah. as we go. And we've, uh, and we've just come back from Las Vegas. Um, yeah. to change the subject there. How was uh, how was the first visit to uh, Sin City? Las Vegas is awesome. You can't put into words. You can't explain what you see there. You know, it's, uh, it's a <laughs> uh, and one last thing, mate. Um, obviously, as you said, we're in Bendigo, so um, you know the crowd or not, you're going to have a big uh, following coming up from Melbourne for the uh, for the fight. Yeah, it's going to have a big following coming up, but hopefully, I can convert some Bendigo people. And, Bring them on the bandwagon as well. Well, I'm sure there'll be no problem with that. Yeah, well, uh, and just to warn the people of Bendigo, the Albanians, uh, they don't do things by heart. Uh, the town's going to be taken over, so look out for them. But Team Bella, they're a great mob, and uh, looking forward to uh, Ibi uh, getting that win on, uh, on June 11th.